Hey guys, this is Gabe Lipko from Gabe Losses Productions here, and I have done a little experimentation in the past hour or so, and I found a great fix. This is going to be a two-part video because I'm trying to find another fix. Basically, November 2012, when Minecraft 1.4 came out, they shut down the pre-1.1 authentication servers. So, any version of Minecraft before 1.1, you cannot make a server on without setting it to offline. And any version below, I think it's beta 1.6, you don't have a skin. So I'm going to show you how, in part one, I'm going to show you how to get your skins back in old versions. And in part two, I'm going to show you hopefully how to get the server back. All right. Basically, we're going to start out with this. You need to get Fiddler 2. Fiddler is a web debugger. It's free. Don't worry. Um, actually, I'm going to delete these two because you don't need to know this. All right. I want you to, once you get Fiddler 2, don't worry. There will be a link in the description. I want you to go to this tab. It says Auto Responder. Click on Auto Responder. Make sure this box is checked, this box is checked, and this box is unchecked. And go down here, and you want to go to Add Rule. And I, I already did that, so after you go to Add Rule, this will appear. And it'll say, like, I think it's, like, something default and then a, a random number. Change it. The top line, copy what's here. The bottom line, copy what's there. Once again, I will put that in the description. Hit the Save button, and do not close Fiddler. And here, I want you to do, here's another thing I want you to do. Go to Fiddler. All right, let me do that again. Tools, Fiddler options. Go to Connections, and make sure all the boxes I have checked here. Make sure they're checked. All the boxes I have unchecked. Make sure they're unchecked. And then go to where here Fiddler listens on port. Make sure that says eight 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 eight. Okay. And then minimize Fiddler. Once again, you need Fiddler to run. And now. You're going to have to create a batch file, and I'm going to try to, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You want to go to start, run, notepad, well if you're on Windows 8, then you'll just, uh, you'll hit the Windows key, then you'll go to run, and then yeah, this, and go to notepad, and then Type in exactly what it says here, and I'm actually going to make the font bigger so you can see this. Once again, this will be in the description. So what it says is Java hyphen DHTTTB. Oh, no, I'm not going to say all of that out, but make sure your proxy host is localhost, which is basically your computer, and make sure proxy port is 8888, which is what we set it to in Fiddler. And for some reason, I don't know why, you have to launch it with 800 megabytes of RAM. I don't know why you have to do that. It's just like that. Make sure it's hyphen jar and then whatever your launcher is. So make sure you save this on your desktop or where, wherever your Minecraft launcher is. Like if you see right here, my Minecraft launcher is minecraft.exe. If you're on Linux and it's minecraft.jar or even if you're on Windows and it's minecraft.jar, make sure this doesn't say .exe, it says .jar. So, yeah, basically, it's the name of your launcher. So on Mac, it would be Minecraft.app, etc., etc. Okay? And you want to go to File, Save As. Once again, save it in the same folder as your Minecraft launcher, in case, in this case, it's desktop. And save, just make up any random name. Just put blah, 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 and then make sure the file extension is .bat at the end. Okay, and then save that. I don't have to save it because I already did it. Now what I want you to do is from now on, whenever you play alpha, do not use the normal launcher. I want you to go to, oh yeah, by the way, this only works with the old launcher. So if you guys have like the new launcher that came out in 2013, this isn't gonna work. So you're gonna want the 2012 and before launcher. If there is requests, I will put it in the description. Anyway, go to your batch file. And once again, Fiddler should be open. And you notice this pops up. And if you get the message ASDF, that means that whatever you put in your batch file is working. 
and as you can see here, it actually launched Minecraft. And if we actually, oh, I didn't want hypercam. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. Okay, shoo. All right. Anyway, go back to Fiddler, and you'll see here all this stuff at the bottom. It's actually capturing from the launcher. So if you see like MC update dot Tumblr blah blah blah, blah, blah dot Tumblr, that means you did it right, and it's actually capturing your Minecraft. So just log in. I will show you this is if you did it right this is the case in which you did it correctly and I know it's gonna be kinda laggy because it's hypercam recording Minecraft as you can see I have an actual skin in alpha 1.1 this work on any version of Minecraft even classic if you want it to work on classic um, you actually you don't want to capture your Minecraft launcher all you have to do is capture Firefox and if you're on Windows, it should do that automatically, so you shouldn't even have to mess with anything. All you have to do is make sure that your internet options are configured for port 8888. If you don't know how to do that, look it up or request me to make a video on it because it's... Pr so, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. So here's a case in which either you had Fiddler closed or you launched it from the regular old Minecraft launcher. So if I launch this with the normal launcher, watch what's going to happen. Okay. Now if I open Fiddler, come on you'll see that it's not really capturing anything, nothing's being updated. And if we actually go into Minecraft and let it load, you can see now that my skin is the default Steve skin. So that's if you did it wrong, obviously. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, ports and, you know, proxies. This method is like, if you're using this for something like adware, this is what a lot of hackers do using proxies. That's what a lot of hackers do to keep their identity safe so that if they give you a virus on your computer, they will actually not be able to be identified because they're not on their IP address, they're on a proxy server. And it's kind of hard to trace back the proxy server. So, not that I'm encouraging you to hack someone like this, but, you know, this is just a simple fix for Mojang's Overlook, and I highly recommend that we make a big deal out of this on the Minecraft forum, because some people who are nostalgic, like me, like they like to play old versions of Minecraft, and you know, it's nice to have a skin, and it's nice to host a server without everyone having to have Hamachi, so we should request them to bring it back. It's, it doesn't even take much, all they have to do is bring back the old website link, and if you're on... Like, if you're making your website on, like, Adobe Dreamweaver, that'll take, like, five minutes. Not even. So it's a simple fix for them. It's a little bit of a harder fix for us. So I'm going to try to request it. I hope you will do the same. Okay, I'm going to sign off now. I will see if I can find the fix for the server. And if so, I will make a part two. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>